Today we are at Living Wanawasa Medical University to take a look and also have a feel of what it is being a student here. So let's go. Before in the other video, my hospital tour video. Hello. This is Dendish. They don't want to be on camera, but you've seen her before in my vlogs. We used to be housemates, but now she's home. Around the amphitheater are a few other shops which are also open to the public. One of them is this pharmacy, and then the next door neighbor is going to be the bank, which is also open to the public. Okay, so let's go upstairs and take a look at what is happening there. If you watched the hospital tour video, you probably remember me saying something like the school is right behind the hospital, right? That is the hospital. All around the amphitheater, you have these offices. I'm not sure if they're all operational. Most of them actually appear to be empty, but there are NEMA offices. That one is one of them as well. And there are more this side as well. These here are offices going all the way down this way and also this way so this is the administration block also this is where they had their graduation from so the car park that way was well arranged for a graduation and they had it from there hands together for all the graduates from the school of public health and environmental sciences Let's give a big round of applause to all the graduates. Madam Vice Chancellor. I have the honor to request you to confirm the diploma in the We're going to the library right now and the library is what you see on the ground floor this way, so we have to get down. To go to the library, we have to go past this administration block, which we've already seen the inside of. The cool thing about the library is that it actually has two sides. So it has the east wing and also the west wing. But there's different ways you can use these ones. Not everything is applicable to either. Let's start with the west wing so I can show you exactly what I mean. One thing you notice about this place is that it is quite loud. There's no librarian to guide you, so you just have to... Use your self-conscious to not be as loud when studying. This is also a place where they write HPCZ exams. Those are exams that you take after you've actually completed your seven years of medical school. These exams are going to be the ones that allow you to practice in Zambia regardless of where you trained from. Zambia, Russia, China, as long as you're coming back here, you have to write these exams in order to practice here. And this is on another day it was much more organized on the actual day they were writing you can choose to use the second floor or the ground floor but in my opinion the second floor is really the loudest so i try to avoid it whenever i want to use this part of the library which i rarely do so that's pretty much the whole space here it's quite spacious but if you're a type of person that likes to study in a quiet place i don't think this is a place for you group studies are great but that's not a study if you're the type of person that likes being quiet places not so much at least not for me Alright, so we are on the east wing of the library. You can tell the difference already, I'm sure. It's more orderly, it's quiet, and there are actual books in this one.
Oh, and here's another thing I like about this place. The different varieties of desks and the study spaces. If you don't want somebody looking in your face, you have different kind of desks. But they have rules. These rules. Which is why some people don't like being here. So the first time I actually tried to enter the library, the man was like, you're not dressed appropriately. I was dressed like this. You're not allowed to go in there with short sleeve things. So I had to go back and find something else to dress in. And he also gave me an option. He was actually really nice. He was like, you can put something over it. But the only thing I had at the time was a lab coat. So I had to go back and come back later. So we're now at the classes. They do have regular classes like these ones this way. But they also have all the way this side lecture theaters. So it's this way. This place just makes you feel like you should forever attend class because it's so nice and it's spacious and it looks like this so why wouldn't you want to come every single day? no idea who these lecture theatres are named after but all of them are professors so it's professor something all of them all the way this is the auditorium and we'll get into that later but here are the classes for the other courses So these classes actually go all the way around, they form a U shape, so it's all the way from this way and also I mean this way, that way, this way and also this way. And another cool thing about this place is that they have their own dissection room. A dissection room is where you learn anatomy from, so you literally just learn from um, bodies, human bodies. But I'm not going to show you what that is because I don't know how you view uh, medicine that way to me it's actually amazing it's actually great that they have this in their own school we have to go to other places other hospitals most schools have to but they have their own but there's another amazing thing i need you to see this one class actually a lot of them these classes that you see behind me have their own i need to show you let's go so here's the thing this place looks like an ordinary class, right? But it's not, at least not to me. It has this door and this door leads to another smaller room in this very class. And in this room, you can see through the main class from this window, but it also doesn't end there because there is another smaller room here. And in this room, you can see through the window to the outside. And this is where people come for studies. I don't know. I feel like these people have more room than they know what to do with. So people just go there to study. Over here is the laboratory. This is where they do their labs from. I'm not sure who else uses this, but I'm sure Prima does. Or as they like to call it, natural sciences. Let's go. So I met somebody from here who helped me explain exactly what is going on. What's your name? Winda CC. I'm a first year. You're first year. Yes. You're from the lab. You're done with your labs. Yes, I'm done. Yes, it's the biology lab. That is the chemistry lab, and the physics lab is this building, this side. Then the lecture theaters. The Joseph Karawashi something something. These ones are used were used by second year medicine and dental therapy. I'm not really sure who's using them now, but the auditorium is used by first years for lectures. First years, that's pre-med, like natural sciences or pre-med? Just natural sciences. Okay. All first years use the, the okay. auditorium for classes. Okay. Then we use tutorials for any class that's free. So I guess this side is just any class that's free. Oh, then okay. we, we get to use them this side. All right. Thank yes. you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> I couldn't enter the lab, so I just stood there like a creep and watched from the window. It's pretty nice. And 
And now we're on our way to the auditorium. I wanted to film the bathroom situation, but then I found this girl and she was like, hurry on. So thanks, beautiful stranger. I just came to attend one. It was a biology class. That was a pre-med class. Pre-med is also the same as natural sciences for some of you that like to use that. But because there are a lot of people, I understand why they would want to use this one for pre-med. I don't know who else uses this place, but pre-med for Sean. I really love this place. I really do. We literally fit like one, two, three, four. Four pre-made classes. from walking around this place but this right here is a place we could eat from so let's see what they have this is a huge space i don't know how many people they intended to feed in this space but it's really really huge So I wanted to see if the sink still works even though the cafeteria is actually not yet in use. This whole setup on the ground floor is the same even on the top floor. So this is only the ground floor of the cafeteria. There is more upstairs, so let's go and check it out. Oh, and also, what we just saw on this side of the cafeteria is also at the far end that way, so it's really huge. This cafeteria is actually not yet in use. They're actually just using it today for a union, students' union election meeting. It was there yesterday as well, and that's why, if you can see some people in the background, that's what they're waiting for. Other people just come here to study, but mostly nobody uses this, so it's just empty. Let's go. This is getting done. We need to do this quick, so let's go. are coming in so it's getting a little more fuller downstairs so this is it these doors here lead to the kitchen this place is not well lit because it's not in use so it felt a little creepy walking around this place They have like other rooms inside the other room so i didn't want to go very far because i didn't want to get lost the elevators are not working probably because there's no one here the kitchen is not functional so we have to walk down and we're done 